my lovelies how is everyone out there in youtube world doing my name is jenny and welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before my channel is a mixed bag of boxy charm ipsy and a whole bunch of other subscription boxes and i'll also show you a bunch of different things i get different brands i try and I am no means in any way, shape, or form telling you to, you need to go out and buy these products because I am not sponsored. I do not have any PR sent to me. I just love makeup. It relaxes me. It helps me express myself. I am not a makeup artist, but any way, shape, or form, as you can tell, my eyebrows are way up too high today. I did do an eyebrow tutorial because I'm learning to do eyebrows. So I wanted to share with you some of the tricks I'm learning. So obviously they don't look too great, but I just wanted to kind of show you but I am not a makeup artist, guys. I just love makeup so, so, so much. And I love subscription boxes. So for today, we are doing one of those subscription boxes. We are doing BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is my favorite box. And like I said, I used to get like 12 and I have cut back. Um, I have, I've cut back. And the reason I cut back was because I fell in love with Pat McGrath and all things Pat McGrath didn't think I would ever do that. I literally said in a video like 10 videos ago that I was not going to be buying Pat McGrath because it's too expensive and then I made a mistake of trying it. So in order to compensate for my love of Pat McGrath, my husband actually bought me some which brought me to tears and you'll see that in one of my videos. And I actually got rid of some boxes that I just wasn't too keen on. I liked them but didn't like them enough to keep them around. So I got rid of some boxes to be able to afford the Pat McGrath. But I kept BoxyCharm because I love BoxyCharm. It's my favorite box. So the BoxyCharm Premium is $35 a month. And you get like six to seven full-size items that range in about $175 and above in value. Boxy Base Box is $25. And you get like five items or so. And you have to have base first. What you do is you get your base box. And then if you want to get Boxy Premium and Boxy Lux, Boxy Lux is a quarterly box that you get. It's $49 a month or $49 a quarter. If you want to get Boxy Premium or Boxy Lux, you have to sign up for base first. And then you go to a wait list. And then they can choose you to come off the wait list. I was only on the wait list two months, guys. So, I mean, it can be quick. It can be longer. I've heard of people being on the wait list for a long, long time. I got lucky. I signed up for Boxy Charm in January this year. And in March, I was off the premium and off the, the Lux. So, it just depends. You know, it depends on how quickly they go through that list. And they don't tell you that you're off of it. You just get charged. And that's when you see on your, on your statement that you've, on the first of the month, that you've been charged for that box. But... You can get rid of your base box once you get premium if you want to. I chose to keep all three because I just like boxes. And the things that I get in my boxes, if I choose not to keep them, I give them back to you guys in monthly giveaways that I do. And at the end of the month, I throw everything in different boxes. I usually have two boxes a month that I do at the end of the month. And I do a random comment picker. And just to throw this out there, I'm going to get this covered right in the beginning of this video. What I do is my channel started for breast cancer awareness because I've breast can I'm a breast cancer survivor and I wanted to help other people going through breast cancer. The makeup thing didn't even come into play until this year. I started my channel over a year ago and I didn't even start doing the makeup thing until I think it was like January, February is when I started doing the makeup thing. So I started the channel talking about breast cancer, trying to help other people that was going through the same struggles I was going through. So I wanted to be able to help other people. And that's what my channel started with. And then it became like, you know, mental health awareness and my anorexia. And I was sitting, putting on makeup, talking about these things. So one of the stipulations I have is I do the random comment picker. And then that person obviously has to be subscribed. You have to follow me on another social media platform. I prefer Instagram. And by the way, guys, I put my, my rules in every single description box. So you'll see it. And then in the giveaway that I have, it'll actually be like... Um, anything stipulated in that particular giveaway will be in that description box as well. But I just kind of want to tell you ahead of time so that you'll know when that comes. So just kind of throwing it out there because I made a rule change and I want to talk about that real quick. Um, and I do have a video on that too. And I'm going to go ahead and tag it up here so you guys can see that. But I just want to kind of throw it out there because there have been some questions. Um, but I do a random comment and then I check that person to make sure they follow the rules as far as being subscribed, following me on whatever platform, and then leaving that information below. But I'll also make sure that person and I have some kind of communication. I like to have that um, communication with you guys. So I like to have comments back and forth. I do try to, to respond to every comment. Of course, you know, 
when I reach a certain plateau, that may change because I don't know what will happen with my channel. I'm hoping that I can, you know, get to the numbers to where my, my message gets heard. You know, I'm hoping that I will reach other people with things that I have in common. Like I have so, severe social anxiety disorder. I have a lot of mental health issues and my breast cancer survivor um, that I talk about a lot. I have fear it coming back. So I'm hoping that things like that kind of get out there. So I don't know what will happen in the future, but for now I do ask that my person that wins actually accept my Birchbox video um, giveaway, which I'll tag up here. There is, I don't have that stipulation to have a lot of comments back and forth, but that's one of the things I require is that, you know, that you comment on some of my other videos that, you know, that you comment on the giveaway video. It's not just drop your name and, and see you later, have a nice day. That you comment back and, that you comment some at least, you know, and you comment on some other videos and that you follow me on Instagram or wherever and you do some commenting because I, I like that. I'm, I'm a weirdo, okay? I'm weird. I like to have some communication back and forth. So I'm just putting that out there because as a BoxyCharm member, you do get to choose an item in your box and I do share that on Instagram when those dates are as I know them. So I do know there's an item in this box that I'm keeping and I do, there, I do know from watching sneak peeks that there's an item in here that I will not be keeping. That's why I was addressing the issue of the giveaway. So I don't know what else is in this box because there's a variations every month and I don't know what my variation is. So whatever I don't like, then I do put them in the giveaway. So that's why I'm talking about giveaways. So let's see what's in this box. Okay, we're gonna open it. We're gonna find out. And I don't have my makeup one because the item that I'm picking or that I picked is something that I'm hoping I can use. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see guys. And I am trying a new, a new um, foundation and I got in my boxy pop-up, which was the Pericone MD. And I have color, um, the color I picked, this is porcelain. And I'm trying that out. And this is the color right here. And I'm also trying out um, something I got in another subscription box. And it is the VDL primer. And I've never tried it before. So I tried that today and we will see how that works out. And I'm also using my Coco Contour. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, was it last month's premium or maybe it was Lux? I don't remember now, but that's what that looks like. And I'm using that today. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. And I did weigh my box because people are asking like, how much does your box weigh? My box weighed three pounds, just to let you know. Okay. Alrighty. So the first thing we do have a card this month. They were doing cards, um, like virtual cards for a while, but I think they've gone back to these cards. Um, and my variation is variation number 59, which you will have in the corner there. So if your variation is 59, then we have the same box. All right, so the first thing is the thing I talked about that I'm not keeping, and that is the Morphe Manny palette. And the reason is, is because there's, for some reason, I have some issues with some Morphe palettes, not all. And I do break out. And I am going to open it because I have had a lot of palettes come into me broken. So I want to see to make sure it's not broken. And then we'll take a look at it. And I won't be swatching it because I'm not going to touch it since I'm giving it away. And it looks good. It is beautiful, guys. I mean, it is really pretty. Um, and I did do a video on it way back when. I'm not going to tag it because it really sucked. I, d I did not do a good job with it. I have learned a lot of skills in the last few months. And if I was to do it again, I'd probably do a lot better job. Um, but the, for some reason, I had issues with, um, like, the shimmers. I cannot use Morphe shimmers. I don't know what it is. And it was fine that day. But then, like, the next day, I woke up and my eyes were itchy. And they itched for, like, two days. It was really, really bad. So, unfortunately, I cannot use this palette. But fortunately for you, it will be in a giveaway. And you know what? That, that big birthday giveaway I talked about, that, that really big one, um, that is the one that's going in because I have the palettes. It's a palette giveaway, guys. If you have not checked that video out, go check it out. I do have another Manny palette in there. It's the Strawberry Palette, the Strawberry um, Dream Palette. This is going to go in there with that because I want to put more palettes in there. So, guys, this is in the big birthday giveaway. It's my 52nd birthday giveaway. This is going to go in there with that. So... Whoever wins that, win this too. Okay, and the next thing, and by the way, that value is $20 on that. It does have 12 um, different colors in there, and I did show you that, so, and two of my highlighters. Just, I'm not even gonna read it because we saw that already. 
The next thing is says it's by Brio, I guess, Byro, B-Y-R-O-E, Bitter Essence Toner. The Bitter Green Essence Toner is packed with 33 different green vegetable extracts, including artichokes, broccoli, and basil that hydrate and purify your skin, helping to smooth unwanted texture. This mega dose of antioxidants will nourish their skin while protecting it from premature aging. $95 value, guys. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. And this is what the box looks like. And I will take it out so we can see it. It's very pretty. It's plastic, so it's not glass. It's a hard plastic, though, so it still can, you know, break. Um, it's kind of hard to come in because, you know, of the way it looks, but you can see it. So it's very, it looks like it's very thick, but I'm not going to open it. But it says after cleansing, you sweep with um, over the face and neck, just like you do any other toner, use day and night. And you can use it every day, of course. I don't know if it's going to have a seal to it. It does not. Well, yeah, it's one of those pop seals, but I'm not, I can't smell it, dude. I'm not going to open it. And the reason is this will be in my end of month giveaway. I use Tony Moly. The snail essence, snail ferment, snail serum, snail musin, that whole complete line. And I will not mix it with this because I am just terrified that it's going to make my face break out. I'm having a few breakouts here. My dog scratched me a few weeks ago and I like broke out. And I think it's because she digs in the dirt when she uses the bathroom and it just kind of made my skin go crazy. But this will be in the end of month giveaway. The next thing is Milk Makeup Kush La Kush Lash Primer. It's a lash primer with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp-derived cannabis seed oil for a volumizing base. $24 value. And this is what the box looks like. I like that box. It's really neat. And which is really good because I got for from Sephora, like my birthday gift thing, I got the Milk Kush Mascara, which I was planning on trying today. So we can try both of those together. It says extra high volume, boom. So we'll see. It says the thickening heart shape prompt. I already read all that on there, so it's the same thing. So let's take a look at this. I'll be keeping it, so I don't care how I mess the box up. I do actually use, um, I lost my lashes from chemo, and I use the Grande Lash MD and also use the Grande Repair. And I've already put that in my lashes because I do that as I start the day. But if you can look back, like some time ago, I had no lashes at all. And there is an instruction thing in here that tells you how to use it. And this is what it looks like. That's a huge container, guys. That is absolutely huge. And this is what it looks like. So I'm assuming it's white. Yes, it's a white primer. We're going to try that today. The next thing is Nelson J. Beverly Hills Argon Oil. I don't know if I told you that's $24. I don't know if I said it or not. It's Nelson J. Beverly Hills Argon Oil 7 Moisture Healing Mask. It's 100% Argon Oil de derived moisturizing hair treatment. It's for color treated, dry damaged detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair color fading, seal split ends, protects from chlorine, and enhances hair's natural body. $24 value. And this is what it looks like. It's in front of it. I showed you the back first. Let's take a look at this. And I will be keeping this because um, I usually don't like to get hair products, but I love argon oil for my hair. Let me see. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Some argon oils. I got one one time. Can't remember the brand of it. I got it off Amazon. It stunk so bad. I could not. I could not. It stunk. Oh, that smells so good. And this is just what it looks like. It's just uh, a creamy texture. So it's not like an oil. What I use now is actually an oil. So this would go in. I'm going to read it and see how it goes in. Um, you don't rinse it out. You apply it to wet hair. Okay, so it says, after shampoo, apply moisture healing mask to towel dried hair, leave it on for one minute, then rinse. And then it says, directions for protecting your hair against chlorine. Before swimming, apply thoroughly, thoroughly after swimming, thoroughly wet hair and apply the mask, do not rinse. Directions for pre-wash treatments. Wet hair thoroughly and apply the mask from shaft to ends. Do not rinse, then shampoo and condition hair. Do not, I don't understand that. Directions for in-salon professional treatment. Visit salon to wash. Okay, then you we have to visit the, the uh, video to watch. So, it's not, what I use now is an oil that you put in your hair afterwards. 
probably should have read it first because maybe I wouldn't have wanted it. It's a little bit difficult to figure it out. Coconut scent. So, I wouldn't, I don't know if I want to do a pre-wash. Wet hair thoroughly, apply the mask. Or you leave it on your hair and then you shampoo and condition it. Okay, so you don't rinse it before, okay. After shampoo, Okay, I don't child dry my hair after I shampoo it, so I would use the other way. I would actually wet my hair, put this on, and I'd probably leave it on for a little bit, then shampoo and condition. So it does come out. It doesn't stay in your hair, so it's not like an after wash thing. So yeah, that's what that is. Anyway, I'm still going to use it. It's pretty cool. And did I talk about my earrings? Oh my God, guys. I don't remember. These are paparazzi. I might have said that. This is candy. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. If I did, I'll have to go back and cut it out. That's Candy. That's where I get my earrings from. She does Facebook Lives. You need to go check her out, guys. I'm sorry if I already said that. I'm, I'm like somewhere else. We have, just to throw this out there, the reason I'm somewhere else is because when we had our camping trip and our vehicle broke down and we were stranded, we had to buy another vehicle. Bought it less than two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, actually. Check engine light came on already. We got to take it and drop it off for repairs today already. So I'm like, today. The next thing we got is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's C-U-C-C-I-O, Naturel, Milk and Honey, Cuticle Revitalizing Oil. Oh, I can use this, guys. <laughs> can I use that or what? Look at, my, look at my chemo nails. Look at them. Look at this one. Did I talk about this yet? I don't even know if I talked about it. This is how my day's going. That there is actually paper that I'd put in because I'm losing this nail again that I lost last March. So I put paper in to cover the spot because I had skin, like literally like skin underneath my nail that it, my nail would come off again or starting to. So I put that on there and then covered it with the hardener to try to seal that because it was so sore. So yes, I need this. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It says a unique natural healing complex of rich lightweight oils with extra, extra antioxidants, benefits from vitamin E that absorb completely to nourish cuticles and scent skin. Milk softens and soothes the skin, while honey is a natural humectant to keep and nourish, to keep the skin moisturized. Eighteen dollar value. Oh yeah, I'm definitely interested in this one. Wish I could knew how to pronounce that. Cochico. Cochico. Smells very good. Not like over the top wonderful, but it smells good. And I'm going to try it right on the back of my hand, just a teeny tiny tiny bit as a dropper. Yeah, it does smell good. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely need this. I'm going to be massaging this in my hands all the time. So I'm happy I got that. And that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. I like that. Definitely like that. And the last thing was my choice item. And that's our brow bar. And I've never tried anything by brow bar before. When it came up as a choice item, I was like, I don't need anything for my brows because I draw my brows on my bare skin. Then I found out it wasn't for brows. This is it right here. It is actually Hollywood Icon Face Kit. Bombshells, get ready for your close-up with Brow Bar by Rima's Hollywood Icon Face Kit and Drama Queen. Each palette comes with a bronzer, translucent powder, two shades of blush, two shades of highlighter, four shades of eyeshadow, and a brush. A complete look, ready to go, in an all-beautiful gold compact. Retail value is $45. I didn't know that it had a bronzer in it. Anyway... So we're going to take a look at this and hope it's not broken. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Like I said, I've had some pellets coming broken. And obviously I'll be keeping this because I did choose this one. Very pretty case. Look at my mess. You see my mess? Yep, that's what I've been dealing with this morning. Okay. We are good. Oh, it's pretty. Very pretty. This is what she looks like. Very pretty colors. You guys see me here before. These are these two. I'm not much on greens, but those I can work with. Um, that does not look like a highlighter to me. That just looks like a white eyeshadow. If this is a bronzer or a blush, that's going to be not my color. I'm kind of wondering now <laughs> if I made the right choice. I can't remember what the other choice items were, but that looks like not a blush for me. And that highlighter there, these highlighters are not my highlighters. These are dark. These are dark. So, I'm kind of wondering now if I picked the right item that maybe I shouldn't keep this because as much as I want to try it because I've heard amazing things about Brow Bar 
and their products. The colors in here, I mean, I would use these for eyeshadows. It says it has two shades of blush, um, four shades of eyeshadow, a bronzer, a translucent powder. Okay, so that is the translucent powder. That's supposed to be a powder, I guess, for under the eyes. This is supposed to be the bronzer. That is way too dark for my skin tone. Um, and then the highlighter, those are too dark for my skin tone. This is meant for a darker skin tone. Obviously, I'm freaking pale. Um, I think on a darker skin tone, this would be absolutely stunning. This obviously, and I'm not sure how that would be. On, that might be too white for a skin tone. That might be like in your face blinding. Um, I think that would be great for an under eye, probably for anybody. Um, I'm not going to swatch it. That I think would be good for a maybe not too dark of a skin tone, but like a medium skin tone. Um, the blushes, I'm not even sure what kind of skin tone that would be for. Something maybe a little darker than my skin tone, but obviously these would probably be good for any skin tone. I'm saying a medium skin tone, guys. I'm saying a medium skin tone. I think I am too light of a skin tone to use these, but I don't know. I mean, they might not swatch as dark as what they look in the pan and I was planning on using this obviously and I was excited about using a, the brow bar product because like I said I've heard a lot about it um Glam with Suzanne talks about it if you've ever seen her channel before that's where I get a lot of my boxy um peeks from sneak peeks she talks about these products a lot and she's a gorgeous her skin color is absolutely gorgeous her tone stunning beautiful skin tone but she talks about these all the time but I just don't know. I mean, I love that purple and that green is really pretty, but I, I'm kind of having second thoughts. I don't think I'm going to keep it after all. I really don't. Um, now that I look at it, I think it's going to be too dark. And I don't want to waste it. I don't want to try it and then be like, mm, that's too dark after I've touched it. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to give it away. I do have a lot of palettes. So unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you guys, I think I am going to go ahead and pass that along for the end of my month. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the end of month giveaway so that the end of month has a palette of some type. Um, I'm kind of, you know, eh, I wish I had been able to try a brow bar, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm not upset by that because of the simple fact I was able to get um, two products. This, I'm going to give it a try to see whether, you know, it'll help with my a little bit of split ends. My hair is growing like crazy since I haven't been able to go out of my house since pretty much go out of my house since March. Um, and I got some cuticle oils. Maybe I can help these cuticles a little bit because they've been in really bad shape. Really bad shape. So, you know, overall, I mean, for me personally, it might not be that great of a box. But for the products that are in it, I mean, I think it's a really good box. I mean, it's a boxy charm. I love boxy charm. Um, let me get the value of my box. I'm going to add it up and I'll be right back and we'll talk about the value. Okay, guys. I am back. I went ahead and just went ahead and did a full full beat here. Um, you'll see that video. If you hit the bell notification, um, subscribe and hit the bell notification, then you'll know when to look for this look. Um, and I talk about my whole face in the look. Um, I forgot that I am keeping three products. I am keeping this um, Huda Beauty, or Milk, I mean, the Milk um, Primer, and I'm keeping the oil. And I'm keeping the hair items. So I am keeping three, these three items. I'm giving the, the brow bar and the mani and the toner. I'm giving all that away. The, as you know, the, the mani is going into my birthday giveaway. The other things will be in the end of month giveaway. I did use this on my eyes. And will I buy it again? No, I won't. And the reason is, is because it literally went on like milk. It's very thick and a very white consistency it's very well I don't like white lip eyelash primers and the reason I don't is because they almost like they almost like change the color of your mascara the one I like that I use is one that I got in um, one of my boxes and it is by blink and it's this one right here I use this one a lot and I use it a lot of times on my lower lashes instead of using a mascara um, let me see if that's coming in with my glasses back on um, but this one here is the one I use. Let me show you the wand on this one. But this is the wand on this one. And this is literally a primer. And it goes on really, really, really good. Um, but it's got like the separator on it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's coming in very well. But it's got like this lash separator that's on it. That kind of separates your lashes. And you guys seen that? I don't know if it's... Like, let me do something different here. Okay. 
So it's got like this separator that kind of separates your lashes and it's black. So it can kind of wear it like as a mascara. This doesn't, I mean, it's, I like, I kind of like the wand. It's different because it's kind of curled like that. So, I mean, I kind of like the wand, but it's very thick and it's white. So it's kind of, it kind of almost changes the color of your lashes, but I'll, I'll continue to try it. And you know, if I change my mind and then I'll update you, if I don't, then I won't. Simple as that. But overall, I do like my box because I love BoxyCharm. Um, it's my favorite box out of everything I get. So, you know, out of every box I get, BoxyCharm is my favorite box. Um, so I'll continue to get BoxyCharm probably forever unless I can't afford it or if they do something really stupid. I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you out there. Don't forget to check out my giveaways that I do with all these products that I can't use. And look for the video of, of this. If you're interested, um, look for that video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And check out these other videos that YouTube is telling you to check out. Anyway, guys, you can take care of each other. Be good to each other. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.